Hello folks. In my previous video, I showed you why you should have tags in your account. In this video, today we are going to see how, what is the tagging strategy that you should follow in your account. What are the different things that you need to consider when you're building your tagging strategy? Let's go ahead and see what are the main things that makes up a tagging strategy. Before doing that, you should understand that your tags are your real time CMTB. For example, you can easily identify what are your EC2 instances running in which region and how many of them are running a production of variant of your application, how many of them are having snapshot backups, how many of them have alerting. All this kind of information can be collected, gathered, managed, and searched for or indexed using tags. So tags represent a point in time slice of your data and you should be able to leverage them for multiple reasons. So when you're saying about tagging strategies, I should I would recommend you to go ahead and create tags for cost allocation so that the appropriate team or your business units or your service lines get the cost for the resources they are consuming and not the resources they are hosting. The other set of tags that I would recommend for you to add is tags for access management. Let us say you can have a tag for security team and they can only have read access for certain resources and they will not even have or read access for other resources. Whereas when it comes to auditing and logging, the developer team will not have any access to the production environment. Whereas for test and dev environment, they will have a lot more control and a lot more privileges. Whereas when it comes to backup account, they will be having resources to a very small set of uh, privileges that is running in your account. So the next group of uh, tags that I would recommend you to add in your account is tags for automation. Say, for example, you want to shut down your servers at uh, five o'clock in the evening or you want to start them seven o'clock in the morning or you want to have tags such that your resources can have an automated security scan every month or an automated update pipeline at some time. The final set of tags that I would like you to add is for tagging in your console dashboard. How this helpful is sometimes you would want your L1 team to have a dashboard of the metrics or they would like to go ahead and see whether the instance is up and running or certain environments are reporting and all those things. So you can easily create customizable dashboards and use them for your support teams using tags. So the most important thing when you're considering your tagging strategy is apart from the tags that we just now looked at or apart from the, those domains, you should identify certain mandatory tags that your account should have and you should agree upon this mandatory tags with your stakeholders so that there can be a common agreement between all the business units to say that these resources or all these resources will have these tags. And once we define that, let us go ahead and see what are some examples of different tags that can be created. So when you're talking about mandatory tags, I would recommend you to go ahead and add a tag called as cost center so that the business unit gets the appropriate cost center number and the resources will have the same number and then the cost will be allocated to them. And then you also want your resources to have a tag called as owner so that if something goes wrong, you know whom to contact. It can be an email address, it can be a name of a person or an employee number, whichever way the organization can uniquely identify the owner in your company. And finally, the service. It might be called as a, say HR or sales or procurement or products, anything. It can be any services that you offer or your organization offers. And finally, the name of the resource. If you know that there are a lot of resources running, it is very difficult to find out what is I hyphen ABCD one, two, three. Instead, if you have a name like production web zero, zero, one, you know that what is the resource that's running or whether it's a database or a web server or an application server. So these are the mandatory tags I would recommend you to go ahead and add in your account. So let us go ahead and see what are the technical tags that you should have in your account. The first thing is environment, whether it is dev, test, prod, or anything like that. Or the next one is application. If you go ahead and configure multiple applications in your account, you would want to know whether the application is a CRM or SAP or Siebel or uh, any of the different applications that you're hosting there. Finally, if you're having a cluster of the application, you would want to know what cluster it is, which region it is running from, and also the version of the application that you're running in your account. So the other tag that I would like to add is the SecOps approved, whether the AMI used by your applications are SecOps approved, whether you want to take a backup automatically, or what is the 
confidentiality, integrity, and availability rating. And finally, the compliance tag for, say, for example, certain workloads need to be compliant to HIPAA compliance, or they might need to comply with the PCA regulations, any of the regulations. So you can go ahead and add those tags as well. Finally, the automation tags, you would want to have an automation tag, say, for example, EBS backups, or you would want to shut down your servers at certain point of time. Say, for example, you have a tag called as power off. You can set a value as yes or no or on or off so that your schedulers can pick up this tag and shut down your servers. Finally, you have an auto update tag as well so that uh, you can choose whether your servers need to be automatically updated or not. If it is a Windows server, you can configure it along with other services and your resources can get the automatic updates from patch baseline from your SSM parameter stores. So finally, you need to make a judicious choice so that the number of tags and the amount of information that you're adding in your resources are balanced. Just because we have a lot of option to add tags, don't go ahead and add all the tags that you think because there are certain API calls that you can make of. For example, you can easily find out the region where an EC2 instance is running by making an API call or pulling the information locally from the server itself. So if you can get the information from AWS itself, do not add a redundant tag and have a balance of the number of tags versus the enough information that you want to get from your resource. So these are the tagging strategies that we are using in the production environments and I'm recommending the same thing to all your clients. If you have any doubts or any questions on how you want to refine these things into your or environment, go ahead and put them in the comment section. I'd be happy to help them with you. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.